The word cancer evokes fear in our minds. And why not? It is a disease that claims more than millions of lives annually in India alone and has been the subject of a lot of research by scientists and biologists. Scientists have found that cancer is characterized by the uncontrollable growth of the body's cells. In a healthy body, cell growth and differentiation is controlled and regulated. Normal cells display the property of contact inhibition, that is, the inhibition of uncontrolled cell growth due to their being in contact with other cells. In cancer cells, this property of contact inhibition is completely absent. As a result, cancerous cells divide to form abnormal masses of cells called tumors. Tumors are either benign or malignant. Benign tumors cause little damage as they remain confined to their original location and do not spread to other parts of the body. On the other hand, malignant tumors, also known as neoplastic cells, grow very rapidly and damage surrounding normal tissues. They compete with normal cells for vital nutrients thereby starving them. Cells cast off such malignant tumors, travel to other parts of the body through the blood and start new tumors elsewhere. This frightening property of malignant tumors is also known as metastasis. The physical, chemical and biological agents responsible for transforming normal cells into cancerous neoplastic cells are known as carcinogens. Different types of ionizing radiations such as X-rays and non-ionizing radiations such as UV rays and gamma rays damage DNA, causing neoplastic transformation. Similarly, the chemical carcinogen nicotine present in tobacco causes lung cancer. Biological carcinogens can be found in viruses called oncogenic viruses as they can induce the formation of tumors. They are also called tumor viruses and have genes called viral oncogenes. Even normal cells have certain genes like cellular oncogenes and proto-oncogenes which when activated under certain conditions such as mutations lead to the oncogenic transformation of cells. This cell transformation in turn induces uncontrolled cell division. Due to this scary nature of proliferation of cancerous cells in an infected body, early detection of cancer is essential for its successful treatment. Cancer is detected by using a variety of methods 
such as a biopsy, histopathology of blood as well as tissue, and bone marrow tests. In a biopsy, a piece of suspected tissue is cut into thin sections, stained and observed under a microscope by a pathologist. This microscopic examination of tissue to study the manifestation of disease is called histopathology. Bone marrow tests are also conducted to detect increased cell counts in the case of leukemia. Apart from these methods, detection of cancer in internal organs is made possible by techniques such as radiography, that is, the use of X-rays, CT or computed tomography, and MRI, that is, magnetic resonance imaging scans. The difference between CT and MRI is that the former uses X-rays to generate three-dimensional images of the insides of an object, whereas the latter uses strong magnetic fields and non-ionizing radiations to detect the pathological or physiological changes inside tissue. Certain cancers are detected due to antibodies produced by the immune system against cancer-specific antigens. Cancer-specific antigens are protein or other molecules that are unique to cancer cells. These molecules are usually found in the outer plasma membrane and they are thought to be potential targets for immunotherapy or other types of anti-cancer treatment. Molecular biology proves useful in identifying genes in individuals who are prone to inherit susceptibility to certain cancers. Identification of such genes is useful in preventing cancer since these individuals can be advised on avoiding specific carcinogens. For example, a person genetically susceptible to lung cancer can be advised to avoid a particular carcinogen like tobacco. Cancer is usually treated by a combination of surgery, radiation therapy and immunotherapy. In radiation therapy, tumor cells are irradiated lethally while taking care not to damage normal surrounding cells. Sometimes cancerous cells are killed by chemotherapeutic drugs which may be specific to particular tumors. Since the human immune system is unable to detect and destroy tumor cells, patients are administered substances like alpha interferon that activate the immune system and help to destroy the tumor. These substances that activate the immune system are called biological response modifiers. In this manner, cancer can be diagnosed and treated with the help of several medical techniques if detected at the early stages. However, it is a killer disease and most often goes undetected by the human immune system.